Hi, God. Thanks for the shine. Hello, people. I'm one of the people. Let's hang out. But before we go, we got to do what we got to do, man. It's morning time, so we're going to take a sip and then we're going to hop on this bit. We're going to make this one quick, man. We're going to have some fun. We got some cool words today, man. Hold on. Let me take a sip. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's that Dunkin' Donuts black, man. Okay, so um, let's just let's just go ahead and knock this one out, set this one up, and be done. Okay, so you're gonna see on the screen it's going to say investment company, investment company. What is an investment company? Check out their words. A corporation or trust, mm-hmm, you know that invests, mm-hmm, the pooled capital of investors in financial securities okay you know so whenever we see trust you know we see garden okay that's just how we see it you know we see trust we see garden whenever we see trust we see this right here let me show you boom that's what's up holy bible king james version that's what's up that's what we see what is that that's god's word what is that that's god's intelligence what is that that's god's mind okay this is God's trust. Okay. This is God's trust that Father God has left his people. Okay. That's what's going on right now, man. You know, so now we're going to show you the investment company right here, you know, that they're talking about in man's world. Okay. So just know that, you know, um, adversary cannot create, they can only copy what father God has already created for the people. And, you know, they've already created a trust company, you know, father God created a trust company. That's the business I work for. You know, I work for my father. Okay. So I'm under the jurisdiction of father God. I'm under the jurisdiction of Jesus Christ. I'm under the jurisdiction of Holy Ghost, okay? I am their servant. I serve them. They point me and I obey, okay? It's real simple for me. I just follow what is written, you know? So now I'm supposed to get out here and I'm supposed to teach all nations and I'm supposed to baptize them <clears throat> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, okay? That's real easy for me, you know, because all I do is I just have to sprinkle out the seeds and show the people the words, man, you know, and then Father does the rest, Jesus does the rest, and Holy Ghost does the rest, okay? No pressure on me. It's no pressure on me. I just obey, okay? So, <laughs> so this one, this one we got set off because you know, there's another creature out there called BlackRock. OK, you know, so there's this entity out there called BlackRock, you know, who's just seems to be lording over the people's the people's um, what would they call it? Uh, capital. OK, capital. Capital is head. OK, cap. Whenever you see cap, you see head. And whenever we see head, we see Jesus Christ. OK, so Jesus Christ is the head of the body that I'm a part of. OK, I'm part of the body of Christ. OK, I'm one member of the body of Christ. Okay? Okay. And now we're going to show you some words, man. So we're going to have some fun, man, because Father God told me to keep the garden straight. Okay. That's what we're doing. All right. So check out this bit right here. You're going to see God's word practice one. It says, remember the order. Okay. Remember the order. Okay. Creator creates creations. Okay. Who's that? That's Father God. That's Jesus Christ. That's Holy Ghost. Okay. What did they create? They created man. They created woman. They created child. They created the people and the people created everything else. One of the entities that the people have created is called investment company. Okay. So an investment company is what we call a beast of the people. Okay. It is a creature of the people. And Father, the God gave man dominion over all creatures, okay, over all of the earth, okay, over all of the earth, all right, you know, so when we see these companies out here, you know, that are just acting up and then, you know, not just doing what is written and then, you know, doing that sleight of hand trick, man, you know, look, we see companies doing this right here. Here's the subtle, sneaky serpent always lurking. And then this one is lurking out there right now saying the climate, the climate is heating up. The world is going to end. You don't want to invest in that company. That company's not safe. That company doesn't meet the standards that we want. Save the planet. Hiss. That's what this one's doing right now, man. You know, so whenever you see these little entities out here that are talking about, you know, oh, no, the henny penny, the sky is falling. Falling. The climate is heating up. The world is changing. We're doomed. We're doomed. If we don't fix, if we don't fix X, Y, and Z by this time, 
everyone's gonna die everyone's gonna perish man and then we're just like oh man poor little children they lack knowledge man but we know who you serve okay we know who you serve because you tell us clearly you know who you serve okay so if you are in fear that the world is going to end because of man right then we know that you're tricked out and you're turned out and you're serving adversary okay so you're turned out man we know that you've been cut off from father god man you know and you're one of the beasts and we got to keep you in check man so that's what we're doing okay you know so let's go ahead and drop down we got that market okay check out this word right here market market is mercs okay mercs is to trade okay deal in okay buy all right so that's what the market is okay you buy in the market you trade in the market and you deal in the market okay what is that that's called a beast of the people all right so the market is a creature of the people therefore it is a beast of the people it is in the beast system and it is subject to father god okay and father god gave man dominion over all the realm okay thank you jesus all right, so drop down. We're going to read this building block right here. This is coming from Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. But we're just going to read one bit, okay? Check this out. This one sets it up again, okay? Building block 26, it says, And God said, uh-oh, whenever we see God said, that means God spake. Whenever God speaks, those are words. And who's the word? Jesus Christ, okay? So here, here's the word of God right here in Genesis. In the beginning, right, Jesus is showing the people, what's up, man? That's knowledge right there, man. That's that alpha and omega, okay? All right, so check it out. Let's keep it going. And God said, let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. Image bear, okay? Let us make man in our image after our likeness, okay? And let them, okay, meaning man, meaning woman, meaning child, meaning the people, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth period man so now when we see an investment company out there you know just trying to lord over the people and trying to lord over the people's minds right you know because they got that capital you know then we're just like oh that's a beast you know that's a beast and we got to keep that we got to keep that beast in check man you know so that's what we're supposed to do and that's what we're doing right now man so we're going to show you how the people keep the beast in check okay we keep them in check with the word you know the word of god okay that's how we do it by god with love okay scary simple service all right you know so drop down check this out this is fun right here we got notice notice is knowledge okay notice he who is in the womb is considered born okay whenever his benefit is concerned when we see benny we see trust okay you know so the womb is the womb is the womb the belly of the woman okay the belly of the woman that is where the child is born okay so the child is what we call investment okay that is father's reward okay so the child is father's reward okay the child in the womb of the woman is father's reward right you know which means it's not just a clump of cells. It's not just a clump of cells. Why? Because the child is going to be a man or it's going to be a woman. It's going to be a child. It's going to be one of the people. OK, a member of the body. OK, that's what the child is right now. OK, so remember this. We're building something right now. OK, so we got that body of Christ question question. This is for the body of Christ. All right. You know, under God with love, does man have dominion over all markets? Question mark yes or no show the people your knowledge man you know so we just want to know you know men and women of the body of christ do do god's people have dominion over all the markets yes or no okay mm. excuse me we're building something and we're doing this for a specific reason you know because you know all markets, right? All markets, the people have dominion over. Why? Because it is written. Okay. So now we read the notice about the child, you know, and then the unborn or the born, whoever's considered in the womb is born, right? You know, we read that for a reason because there's people that go into the market, right? And then they get this procedure done called abortion, right? Which is in the market, right? You know, so all doctors work in the consumer market. Okay. That's why we call them consumer doctors. Okay. And then you have consumer 
consumer attorneys out there, any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the Constitution is under the jurisdiction of the people and the people are your boss. Why? Because we have dominion over you. OK, it is written. OK, just go read the state's Constitution. Now, we want to know if we have dominion over all markets. OK, so that would include the medical market. OK, so if you're in the medical industry, Man, the people, hi, I'm one of the people, we have dominion over you, okay? We have dominion over you, and now we've been watching you, and we see that you have been acting outside of your boundaries, okay? Where you've been acting outside of your boundaries because you have been killing the people. You have been killing the people and calling it something else in the consumer jurisdiction, okay? And we don't like that. We don't like that. And we're here to educate you and we're here to show you the words with simplicity. And now we're going to use an investment company as an example to show you the words and simplicity, okay? You know, so drop down. We got a word. Let's have some fun, okay? Now we're going to have some fun, man. You know, so let's go ahead and drop on this next bit. You're going to see on the screen where it's going to say, attorney general and reporter okay so this is coming from tennessee a creature of the people okay the people created the state of tennessee okay also you drop down and it says attorney general the people created the creature called the attorney general in the state of tennessee okay drop down it's their newsroom okay this date this timestamp is december 18th or 18 december 2023 we're in 2023 right now okay so this is fresh okay so check this out it says the look at the highlight or the the headline <clears throat> it says tennessee sues blackrock in first of its kind consumer protection suit over esg considerations okay esg considerations you know that's uh environmental social and governance okay you know so they use these little tricky words you know that's that hath god said bit they use these tricky little words to try to move the people's um businesses or creatures into a different jurisdiction so then they can lord over them okay that's what's going on right now okay but this public servant out here in tennessee he's not having it okay he's not having it all right so let's just go ahead and read all right it's it says, on Monday, Tennessee Attorney General filed the first of its kind consumer protection lawsuit against the world's largest asset manager. OK, so this company, BlackRock, manages the assets of the people. What are the assets that they manage? It's called money. OK, they manage the money of the people and then they move the money of the people into different entities called corporations, which are all beasts of the system. OK, but they get all the people under one house. Right. And then once they have all the people under one house, then they can say, now let's invest here or let's dress here. Here, let's dress there. Let's dress here. Let's dress there. Fun fact, invest means dressed. OK, so they want to dress all these companies down, man. You know, but we're not having that anymore because Father God's people have woke up and we're here to oversee this beast right here. This beast called BlackRock. We're here to oversee it. OK, you know, so check it out. It says uh, BlackRock Inc. Tennessee's complaint. So they're complaining right now. OK, alleges they allege that BlackRock made false or misleading representations to current and potential Tennessee consumers. OK, so the consumer would be the people of Tennessee. OK, you know, so this this entity, this beast was doing that half God said bit. And then they were tricking out the people. They were tricking out the people in Tennessee by not giving them full information. OK, they did did not provide full information to the people of Tennessee. That's called tricky, man. An example of not providing full information to the people would be abortion. OK, so if you change the words of killing, if you change the words of murder, if you change the words of the born to unborn, right, that's called that's called false or misleading. You're being fake and you're not showing the people what's up. You're not giving full disclosure, okay? You're not giving full disclosure, all right? We're building something right now, okay? We're going to show you how you can map. You can map what's going on with the investment company onto the medical onto the medical entities called the doctors, okay? We are going to break the doctors. We are first going to instruct them and we're going to show them we're going to show them the words of the game, but we are going to dress all medical people for now and on okay that's our duty and that's our obligation lord willing okay lord willing if it's the lord's will this is what we're going to do until father taps us out man you know because i was built father built me in the medical industry and i know how these people get down man they get down with that half god said bit and they love to use tricky little words 
almost like how the investment companies like to use tricky little words called like ESG. Okay, they use different words, you know, so then that way they can lord over the dominion over those words, man. It's that sleight of word trick. Okay. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, where were we? Consumers, yeah. Um, false or misleading representation. Yeah, so it says it alleges that BlackRock made false or misleading misleading representations to current and potential Tennessee consumers about the extent to which environmental, social, and governance ESG considerations affect BlackRock's investment strategies, okay? You know, so they're taking other people's money, you know, and they're investing other people's money in entities, okay? And they're also telling, they're also lording over these entities and telling them if they don't meet certain, certain, um, requirements that they wish to have you know like they're like we want to go green you know they're like we don't want to use fossil fuel so if you're a company that is in that industry that's that's not using fossil fuel they use the power of the people's money you know the capital you know to lord over you and then stop you from using and then stop you from using fossil fuels man it's a sneaky little trick man you know but this is just how how the um adversary likes to sneak itself up into the jurisdiction of the people okay they have no power once you shine a light on them okay they're gonna lurk away you know they're gonna lurk back into the darkness once you shine the light on them okay that's why we're always throwing these words out here for you so you can see what's up okay you know so any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the constitution falls under the jurisdiction of we the people okay and then we the people have jurisdiction over all of our governments okay and then our governments are tools okay they are tools of the people and the people must learn how to wield and use their tools man you have to learn how to use your tools with precision and you use your tools with precision by understanding the words okay if you understand the words as written then you can use your tools with precision and then they can they can perform wonderful things for you okay they can perform wonderful things for you like keeping bad creatures in check so if a creature wants to act out of bounds right then the tools of the people can keep them in check man we do it by god with love okay you know that's what's going on right now man you know so we're done with that bit so let's go ahead and hop on um god's word practice too all right so we're just going to read you some words now okay you know we're going to focus on the highlight we're going to read the highlights and that's it okay so we got god's word practice what is power okay what is power power all right we're gonna show you power right now okay you know so just know check out this notice notice is knowledge okay it says all political power is inherent in the people hi i'm one of the people remember you know i'm the image bearer okay father god gave me man dominion over the whole realm remember that okay you know all political power is inherent in the people by decree of god oh sounds like genesis you know chapter 1 verse 26 okay Thus, none can exist except it be derived from them. Who is them? The people, okay? Another name for people was, was Adam, Adam, okay? You know, that was that red man, okay? You know, so let's go ahead and drop down. We're going to show you power. All right, so this power is coming from the American Dictionary of the English Language, Webster's 1828, okay? So now we're traveling back to 1828 to show you what the word power is, but just focus on the highlight, okay? Power is force, okay? You know, power is ability, okay? Power is strength, okay? Who has power over me? Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost. They have power over me, okay? And if Father God has given man dominion over the whole realm, which means man has dominion over his governments, okay? All governments, all people have power over their governments, okay? You know, so when we see these investment companies trying to lord over the people's capital with tricky little words, man, we're not having that anymore, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and keep it going. All right, so we're on God's word practice three. Okay, so check out this word right here. Regulate. Okay, we like this one. Regulate. Okay, that always makes us think of uh, young guns when, when they used to say, regulators, mount up. Okay, so we want the regulators. The people are the regulators. Okay, the people are the regulators. And we're going to here to show you how. Okay, you know, regulate. Regulate is rule okay regulate is method okay regulate is mode okay check it out drop down it says regulate to regulate our moral conduct by the laws of god and and of society okay i'm gonna pause on that bit right there i'm gonna show you where i get my rules from 
Boom. Okay. Holy Bible, King James Version. That's what's up. Okay. I'm going to always show you where, where I come from. You know, I come from the Holy Bible, King James Version. That's what's up. That's where all my rules come from. Okay. You can go online and you can see everything that I'm talking about for free, you know, and you can read the Holy Bible, King James Version. That's what's up. Right. Cause we're always sipping, right. You know, you can always go read those rules online and you can read the story and you can read what Father God wishes for his people to do. And you can also see Jesus Christ and you can see Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is the last Adam, the man that we're supposed to follow. Okay. We follow Christ. Okay. So that's why I'm in the body of Christ. Okay. I'm in a separate jurisdiction. Okay. You know, I don't fall under the jurisdiction of man. Okay. I am not in that jurisdiction. I am in father's God's jurisdiction. Therefore I am private. Okay. I don't play with the creatures of man. I may come and I may look at them and I may talk with them, you know, and I may have some fun with them, but you know, we're not playing in the same game, man. You know, so like investment companies, we're not in the same realm. You and I, we are not in the same realm. So, you know, don't think that you can deal with me or talk with me how you may be able to talk to your employees. Okay. We're not running the same game. Okay. All right. So let's keep it going on regulate. All right. We're done with regulate. All right. So drop down. We got, you know, check out this bit right here. This is coming from the United States Constitution, Article I or Article I, text of Section 8, okay? Text of Section 8. It says, the Congress, look at the highlight, the Congress shall have power to regulate com- to re- to regulate commerce, okay? Let's reread that one one more time. The Congress shall have power to regulate commerce, okay? We're just focusing on the highlights, okay? That's why we showed you what mar- market was. Market is commerce, okay? Market is commerce, and that's when you're buying, and that's when you're trading, and that's when you're dealing with, okay? So our Congress is a, a creature of the people. They regulate, they, ha- they show the rules and the methods of how investment companies are supposed to behave in the market, okay? Who has jurisdiction over the Constitution? The people, okay? So the people have a duty and an obligation to regulate our entities, and then our entities have a duty and an obligation to regulate the creatures that fall under the jurisdiction of the Constitution. Investment companies like BlackRock fall under the jurisdiction of the Constitution, Also, entities like medical doctors fall under the jurisdiction of the Constitution because they're functioning in the commercial realm, okay? So all medical people are functioning in the commercial realm. Therefore, we the people have dominion over you, okay? You know, so when the people present ourselves now, you know, to these entities, you guys better get in line. You guys better dress it down, man. We're here to show you what's up, man, you know, with simplicity, okay? You know, so that's it. We're done with that bit, man. You know, so we're on God's Word practice three okay so check this out we got that question question it says under god as written as a man as a woman as one of the people as a person of the people do you agree with the above truth and facts question marks yes or no show the people your knowledge man you know so so that's it man you know we're done with that bit you know we just wanted to lay down that bit real quick because you know we see we see that there's a lot of um creatures of man you know a lot of corporations that fall under the jurisdiction of the of the government you know that the people have created they're acting up you know they're acting up and then they're not obeying the rules to the game as written you know they're not obeying the constitution okay if you if you fall under the jurisdiction of the constitution and you're not obeying the constitution you know we're here to regulate you and we're here to keep you in check. Why? Because Father God has given us dominion over the whole realm, okay? Man has dominion over the whole realm, okay? God's people have dominion over the whole realm. How do we get that? Through Jesus Christ, okay? So Jesus Christ hooked us up and he hooked us up with the keys to the kingdom and we know how to smack down adversary, okay? You know, we just smack down adversary with simplicity by showing them what is written, okay? And now we just showed you what an investment company is, okay? So those are companies that like to dress, okay? invest is dress okay you know so they want to keep things straight you know so that's what our duty and that's what our obligation is to do is to keep the garden straight okay remember the whole realm all the earth is the garden okay god's people get this in your mind man because once you do then you're going to be able to see the world, you know, the world through through the eyes of Christ. OK, and then once you see the world through the eyes of Christ, then you know that you got to get out there and you got to love your neighbors. OK, you got to love God and you got to love your neighbors and you got to make sure that these entities, you know, these corporate entities, these beasts, these beasts of the people are being operated 
in under good administration rather than in maladministration. So BlackRock is operating in maladministration because it's using other people's money to force companies to do things like cut the people's energy off. OK, we don't like that. That's not happening anymore. OK, at least not on our watch. OK. And we also don't like when, um, you know, medical people are um, committing murder and medical people are, you know, killing, you know, because thou shalt not kill, you know, by using sleight of word tricks, by calling, you know, killing abortion, you know, and then calling people, not people, but calling people embryos and calling people fetus and calling people cells and calling people products of conception okay product of conception that's a trick man that's not happening anymore man you know not on our watch okay lord willing not on our watch you know so medical people get ready we're gonna have some fun man because you know we're showing you we're showing you the game in simplicity right now man we're showing you what tennessee is doing and this is getting ready to happen worldwide okay you know so the people are back okay by god with love all right that's it i'm done i'm gonna put this together i'm gonna upload it i'm gonna see how it flows man i'll talk to you guys in the future remember nobody's having more fun than us bye